Suppose we have a triangle ABC. Let us extend the sides BA and BC. We will draw the encircle of this triangle. I'll give you the construction. Draw any two angle bisectors, uh, say of angle A and angle B in this particular picture. Mark their intersection point as I. Now from the point I, drop a perpendicular to one of the sides. Let's say AC for this particular diagram. Uh, suppose the perpendicular intersects AC at the point E. The encircle is drawn centered at I with radius IE. Now suppose EI intersects the encircle at the point F. We will use the point F uh, later in the construction. Next we will draw the X circle of this triangle. To do that, we will need the angle bisector of the external angle A and the external angle C. Uh, suppose they intersect at the point IA. Now from IA, drop a perpendicular to either extended BA or extended BC or AC. In this picture, we drop it on extended BA. Suppose J is the point of intersection of extended BA and the perpendicular. Now draw a circle centered at IA and with radius IAJ. This is the X circle of the triangle corresponding to the vertex B. The encircle can be dilated or blown up with respect to the point B into the X circle. When you do that, the center I is sent to the center IA and FE, which is perpendicular to AC and the diameter of this encircle, is sent to another segment perpendicular to AC. As angles are preserved under dilation, if you blow up things, you do not change the angles, you just change their sizes proportionally. So, in this particular video, we saw how X circle can be regarded as a dilated version of the in circle. Now, I have a few questions for you. The first question is, what is the ratio of dilation? How much do you need to, by what factor do you need to blow up or dilate? The second question is, how can you rigorously show that the center I goes to the center IA under this dilation? Next, can you tell me where do the point F go under this dilation? And finally, can you show that AN is equal to CE? The link in the description will take you to the GeoGebra workbook related to this construction so that you can play around with it. It also contains the entire article and these questions and many more things. Try doing these problems and you can put a comment in the description if you know the responses and the correct answers. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.